What you are about to witness is a session of long distance energy healing using a technique I call conscious energy healing. I am Dr. Bill Schroeder. I am a physician and molecular biologist. I learned the basic techniques of energy healing from Dr. Rosalind Bruyer through the University of Arizona's associate program in integrative medicine under Dr. Andrew Weil, MD. Over the last 21 years, I have integrated this form of healing into my standard Western medical practice, working with and teaching the technique to well over a thousand people. Keep in mind that I was somehow able to perform what you will hear using a cell phone from Colorado to Chicago. Keep in mind that this is not hypnosis. An actual transfer of energy occurred that is capable of altering not only the physical state of the person I am working with, but their state of consciousness as well. The force, or whatever it is, that was used appears to be everywhere in every time all at once and is not subject to the loss of power over distance. This method works for over 90% of people and can be easily taught. It is simple and powerful. Throughout the phone call, I will add information so that you can better appreciate the method and this event. At the end, I will provide contact information. I and a colleague of mine are available for private consultation. I am also composing a book and an online video course for the dissemination of this technique. Sit back and enjoy the ride. We join the recording with the session already in progress. In this type of healing, one can connect energetically over great distances as if one were actually at that location. I begin running energy into the feet of the person I am helping. <laughs> Yeah, this is the second time that I have it with you. I feel it more in the head. I don't know why. That's okay. I want you to localize that sensation. Yeah. That's also occurring at the bottom of your feet. You may have some form of neuropathy where you don't feel well in your feet. Is that true? No, but my feet are cold. So I don't know if that's that. Okay, so I'm going to go a little stronger and a little more rapidly. At some point, you should feel that going up the end of your calf, and maybe even as far up as your knees. Yeah, I start feeling the needle, like on my feet, like a little bit, like, not like in the needle, but something. Okay, I want you to think of that not as a sensation at all, but as an actual substance. It's like water. It makes space in front of it, and it will naturally flow into your body. So think of your legs as if they were two hollow tubes and suck that energy in like you were pouring water through a straw. That will help me. There you go. Now you should be feeling this stronger. It's just about to your knees. When it gets to your knees, you may feel it strongly there because that's a big joint with a lot of nerve endings. Just let it move past your knees. And we're getting there anyway. I don't think you're feeling it all that strongly right now, but it doesn't matter. Hey, Keep thinking about. Oh, I'm sorry. Say what? I'm feeling it in the cuffs going up. Okay. Keep going. Put your tongue on the roof of your mouth. That'll help connect an energy circuit that helps this flow. I feel it going through my tummy. I even feel the leftover. Okay, we got you now. It's just a matter of time. You may feel it go up your back, up your spine, or up the center of your body either way, or both. Yes, go in both. Do you meditate? For I do just in just two flows. So it's like I hold my hand in several places, like if it were um, electricity, you know, and, and, and I kind of do breathing. Yeah. And that always helps. We're very close now to having the energy through your entire system. And in just a second, you should start feeling me running energy through the top of your head as a sensation in your face, skull, or neck. I'm gonna work on your throat and your clavicle first. Are you noticing anything with that right now? Uh, not specific. I, I feel like the energy moving actually like, like uh, in my tummy, like. You know, like when the energy flows, I feel like movement in the tummy, it feels like boop, 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 boop. There's activity in that. So I feel you're not like, having hoarseness right now or anything? I have 
I have pain in my throat because I was teaching yesterday and I forced my voice. So it feels more on the right side a little bit. Yeah, a little bit hoarse. You tell me when that goes away. That will tell me if I'm in the right spot. I still feel the pain when I swallow. It's Can like you get better? Do you want me to keep the tongue on the roof of the mouth? Of the no, that's okay. I've got you all set up now. Did it feel better with what I was doing? Because that would mean I'm in the right spot. Yeah, it seems like. Like at the top place, there's still pain a little bit lower. Like the, the, the higher part felt better, but the lower part doesn't. Like closer to the clavicle and the sternum part. Yeah. I'm going to loosen up that right clavicle joint and shrink that cyst now. You tell me if you start feeling warmth right there. Swallow again for me. It's better. But not gone? Not gone, no. I still feel to the right pain, to the right, a little bit higher than the clavicle to the right. I'm going to keep working on that area as I go down. I can multitask this. At some point, the pain should go away completely and let me know if you notice that. Yeah. The next stop we're going to go to is your adrenal glands. Yeah. When I work on that, most people feel a warming in their back, just at the level of their rib cage. You tell me if you notice that. I think I feel it's warming. Say that again. I think it, I feel something there. It's not super hot, but I think it's warmer. Are you still feeling energy in that right ovary? Right ovary feels good, actually. The left. Uh, yeah, the right level where you feel the, where I feel the pain usually is in the left one. And it seems like always a little bit swollen. I've had that for many, many years. Yeah, the tube bleeding from that ovary is narrow on that side. So I'm going to open that up. Swallow again for me. Oh, it's smoother. Okay, but it's not gone then, all right? No, I've had this for two years, Bill, so it, it's... It's just okay, we still got a shot at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but I've seen like the big specialists that work with the ultra stainers, everybody has looked at it and they see it's red. They see nothing nefarious there. And I've had all the possible exams and nobody, nobody finds anything. So uh, whatever you can see is a, is a miracle, it's amazing. Okay, now I'm going to keep working on this. But what we're going to do next, most people find the most interesting part of this type of treatment. I'm in the fight or flight state as well. My field is contracted right now, and I've kept it that way so that you can notice the difference when I go into the altered state that we'll call alpha. That corresponds to the relaxation response in clinical medicine, clinical Western medicine. Mm -hmm. When that happens, most people feel a sudden expansion of their energy field. That produces a sensation in people. Most often it's a sensation of total body warming or a buzzy, tingly sensation accompanied by a lack of anxiety and pain. And it typically happens suddenly within microseconds of my transition, your transition will occur. So I want you to watch here carefully in the next few seconds, I'm going to transition, and your field should transition with mine. And it feels like this. There you go. Did you feel that change? It feels like relaxation, but I didn't feel the other things that you said. Do you feel warm all over, like really relaxed type stuff? Um, no. I'm still, I feel like my feet are freezing, so I just covered myself. But I feel my left hand nice and warm. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to go back into beta, so you may feel the transition back, and it feels like this. Okay, now you're back in a collapsed energy field state. For some reason, you didn't notice it. It probably happened too slowly for you to notice the transition. I'm going to go really strong. There's a chance that you will startle. When people startle, they go back and forth really fast. But you still may be able to notice, and it feels like this. Okay, now you should have felt that. That was faster and stronger. 
whatever you're feeling right now, I want you to record it. Remember what it feels like. Did your feet warm up? Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Just landing in the hand. Okay, I want you to record what that feels like in your hands. I want you to focus on that for a minute or so. And notice what it feels like, because if you can record and remember what it feels like, you can re-enter it, this state, by reproducing that feeling in your body. Your feel will naturally go to that state, knowing that that's what you are intending. At some point, you will be able to go there without actually feeling it, just by thinking it. And when I say thinking it, it's more like emotion. When you dance, you are in this state. That's why it may seem so familiar to you because you've danced so much during your life that you don't even know when you're in the altered state. All artists and creative people do that. But I do know when I go teaching, when I come back, I feel so much better. When I dance and I come back, I'm just feeling like, despite the fact that the rheumatology said, well, those kind of movements are not good, you shouldn't be doing it. The PT said also that exorbitation is bad for your head. I go, I teach, and even if sometimes I hurt part of my hip or so, but my whole being is like singing, it's so happy. It's really that state that you're talking about. It's a wonderful state. We're gonna go deeper now. What you just went into is the state that most people only feel right before they go to sleep. It only lasts a few minutes. We'll call it alpha. Alpha is the doorway to the deeper states of meditation and dreamless sleep and the brainwave frequency that dominates when people are in that state is called theta. Alpha is a brainwave state that dominates right before you go to sleep and when you're very, very relaxed. Theta is fight or flight. So here's theta. I'm going to go into theta, and your field will follow. There you go. Now, you probably did not notice that transition. Do you feel differently? I just was feeling my the pulsation in my, my left hand much more. But the way I felt when I was going to the alpha state, I was feeling more of the love. Like when I, I get so in so much pain, you know, my husband tried to help me, and I'm in so much pain that I can't really appreciate it. But then when you put me in this out I feel all the tears coming out because I feel the love. Oh, you should be pain-free right now. Do a check and tell me if you can feel any pain anywhere. I still feel a little bit in the throat at the upper part, but all the okay. rest feels fantastic. Okay, I got one more to show you. This I call the chocolate of consciousness states. While awake, only infants experience this. We grow out of it as we pass through childhood. The only other time that it's present in human beings is during dreamless sleep. Even momentary entry into this state causes the body to relax so much that it repairs. If you can remain and re-enter this state on a regular basis, your body will repair because the energy that was being used for the fight or flight response will be naturally redistributed to recovery. So it feels like this. Different, huh? Yeah. Now I'm gonna go back to work briefly on these different areas of your body because you're loaded with energy right now. So I should be able to get rid of all of it in a very short period of time. Now the sacrum is abnormal. So I'm gonna work on that a little bit. You may start feeling a warming sensation in your sacrum. I feel it. I'm gonna hook things on for you. And when I say that, I'm actually doing something energetically with your consciousness. You have two major pieces of information that you've given me that will hook your relaxation response to a thought, emotion, or idea. The first is your performance, your dance. This brings you great joy. That joy will propel you, whether you're dancing or not, 
just by the remembrance of the emotion and feelings that you have when you dance into these altered states. It's almost like you could dream dance. Mm. So that movement, whatever it is, I'm not a ballet dancer, you should see me dance. <laughs> they said they said EMS when I dance, they think I'm having a seizure. So <laughs> it's pretty sad. <laughs> not exactly coordinator. Very talented in other ways, though. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> yes, you would have been right out. Mm -hmm. I would have to keep that day job. Mm -hmm. The second one is that you have a very intense and loving emotional relationship with your husband. I can feel it. It's yeah. very powerful. Yeah. His very presence takes you into the altered state. It does. When what happens is that you go back and forth because your mind looks at the discomfort, yeah. looks at the dysfunction. Yeah. And when it does, you go into beta. Huh. And then he's there, and you go back into alpha. And you go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, what I call flickering. In that state, you start to feel the pain go away, but then it comes back. Is that yeah. true? So whenever, if I put my, my, if I'm in pain, I put my head on her shoulder and I will fall asleep. But then when I sleep, I'm, since I have cancer, I have such fears, like in the middle of the night that I start, <gasps> like, having this type of, of fears that I cannot control. So we started sleeping in different rooms because I, I wanted him to be able to sleep, and I was living with so much fear, you know? But I feel that I need to get back together, that it's just what I need. What are you afraid of? Uh, cancer coming back. It's not coming back. Uh, pain, this pain that I have in, in my body. In my pain body. is going to be under your control. Uh, you have nothing to fear. Uh, I want you to let go of those emotions and I'm going to go in and I'm going to remove them from your field. They are like smoke rings. You ever see anybody blow a smoke ring? The smoke what? The ring. Yes. The smoke yes. ring. Yeah. yeah. You know how the even yeah. the slightest breeze will blow it away like incense yeah. is blown away? Yeah. That's what these emotions are like when you see them in someone's energy field. They look like little tiny smoke rings or clouds of incense. And all I have to do is blow on them slightly with the slightest amount of energy and they go away. The only problem is, is that if you think of them again, they come back. Okay. So from now on, you are not to think of your fear of pain or cancer coming back at all. The hook you're going to use, if you have even a moment's experience of those emotions, is either your dancing or your love for your husband. That will serve as the wind or the breeze that dissolves these things in your field. When you go to sleep, your energy field goes expands and goes across them and they're illuminated just like somebody showed a light into a dark room and you see the clouds and they scare you. They are not real. They are emotions, thoughts, and they will not hurt you. So here we go. Say goodbye to your fears. This is the last day that you will be in fear. Oh, we're doing great. You have such a beautiful energy body. Your power is enormous. You are a very, very vital person. I rarely accomplish what I've accomplished with you. And the reason that it is working is because of your personal power. It gives me something, a substance to work with. I want you to step into that power. You are going to live a long life free of disease, free of fear. You have the power to push that button and it's just that easy for someone like you. Just like pushing a little button, that little amount of effort and going back into these all will provide you with enough energy to dissolve all of those obstacles. 
just like a little crystal of salt would fall into a water glass and disappear, never to be seen again. I don't think it's the discharge in a long, long time. I'm sorry, what did you say? But I haven't felt this well. This state is, is fantastic. I feel so different. I feel no pain. Isn't that interesting? Most people don't feel pain in these altered states because they don't actually have to. In the fight or flight state, you have to. You have to know where the enemy is so that you can beat it up or run away from it. In altered states, there is no enemy of pain. It is part of oneself, plus it dissolves. My teacher used to say the solution to pollution is dilution. If you have in your field, the more things like pain and anxiety and actual physical organ dysfunctions dissolve. The only thing that you can do to screw up is to be afraid. This is why some people have likened diseases and psychological issues to demons, because that's all the demons can do. They can only scare and they have no other power. They are such low energy, if you want to call them demons, that they can't even go to this place. They don't even know where it is. They don't even know it exists. So you are free from all of that, whether you want to look at it as a personality or a pain or an experience or a thought or an emotion, you have control, complete control. I will actually be surprised if these come back to bother you again, these things. You're certainly not going to get cancer again. Your system will be too strong. It will eliminate it from your body so quickly that you won't even know it whatever came back. You and I both have cancer right now. You know that, don't you? Know. Everybody does. There's always, because we have so many cells, there's always at least one cell in the body yeah. that is changing. Yeah. But we destroy it on a continuous basis. Your system is so strong that it will destroy any cell that loses its marbles again. <laughs> I love how you express it. Yeah. So now we're, I'm going to go in and out. So did you notice the transition? The secret to this is remaining in the relaxation response. If you can pull that off, almost nothing can harm you. In just a second, I'm going to go back into beta, the fight or flight response, and you'll probably follow. You're pretty strong. You might not even follow me, but we'll see. Okay, what did you feel? I can stand the in the alpha. I was just thinking of my husband and how much I love him and I tried to stay in my alpha. I still feel that wonderful uh, I feel my spine is a little bit more but there's no pain. Okay, go back. Record being is available. You can remember it. All you have to read to do, do is reproduce what you felt in your hands or in your body again, or the feeling of love that you have for your husband, or the feeling you have when you dance, and you'll go right into alpha. And then it's just a step away to go into the other states. So when I, I think whether I go back to my dancing or to the love that I have, I just focus on that love and it goes I can go to that other state myself? Yep, I call that a hook because what it is is that your thought patterns are driving the relaxation response. Some people need a sensation that they get that to guide them because their emotions are so difficult for them. You're lucky. You have the creative side of yourself that takes you into alpha every time you dance. And you have your husband, who you love deeply, who takes you into alpha every time you're around you. So those represent hooks. If you become absorbed, completely overcome by the feelings you have in both those circumstances, it'll take you right to alpha every single time. Or you can just use the feeling that you had in your hands. And your body will go, oh, you want to go to alpha? Okay, fine, no problem. That's where we're supposed to be. There's no predator here? Okay, cool, no problem. And off you go. So I should be able to sleep with my husband again. I shouldn't have those fears anymore. If you do let me know, that means that I didn't do the job of, or that the, or the, the smoke rings came back, well, clouds came back. You did a great job, though, let me tell you that. I feel I had all those tears of 
love coming out. And I know when something is real, really real, there's always lots of tears coming out. They're like pearls of joy. There's, and, and that's what happens. Well, I have an ulterior motive. And my ulterior motive is because I understand how important you are as a being in this world, not to just your family and those who care about you. But I think that at some point, your efforts to restore the environment will bear fruit. Can I live here too? What did you so, say the last word? Can I? What? Oh, I didn't share the last two words. Is that? I live here too. It's yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I think um, I feel that good things are, are moving that way. That uh, there's a lot of energy of people wanting to help the environment, and you know, phone calls happening, things are happening, and I think that the, the energy is moving that way. So I'm. Uh, you want to hear? You know, they have that thing where you know, if you believe in something, they call it the secret. It'll happen and all that stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know that. Well, don't you don't even bother with it. It's kind of weird and maybe a little bit too new agey for anyone to believe in. <laughs> You know, Larry would completely freak out if he heard that I'd even mentioned it. Because <laughs> he's, he's going, that stuff is just crazy. But here's a secret. When you go to your husband, is he home right now? Yeah, yeah, I think there is a Okay, so when you go to your husband, I want you to do a little experiment for me. I want you to go into Alpha. Guess what? The same thing that I did for you will happen for him. He'll go into Alpha, and you guys will make this giant Alpha bubble, this giant energetic bubble. That happens with human beings individually and groups. So if, so if someone is, let's say, having a little bit of problems dealing with what you want, you know, for the environment or something else like that, your best option is to go into the relaxation response. Your field will expand, and they'll think you're the most charismatic person on Earth because I feel like a million bucks. I do it every day with my patients. All I have to do is go into Alpha. I had this weird thing happen, so I figured out that I could take people into the relaxation response, right, with my own field. Yeah. This, this is almost 20 years ago now. Mm -hmm. and, and so I decided, you know, that people were getting better when I took them into Alpha. They just spontaneously started to heal. Yeah. So I decided I'd do it in my clinic. And as I walked down the hall, before I went into the room, I'd go into Alpha. And bam, they go into Alpha. All of a sudden, their field would expand, and I'd go in and I'd say, well, how are you doing today? What brings you in to see me? And they'd go, I don't know. I feel really good. <laughs> so I had to stop doing it because I lost all my diagnostics. Because at that time, I wasn't really good at looking at energetic bodies, so I didn't know what was wrong with them. And I had to use labs and talk to them. And I still do that because I've got to document things and, you know, prove that I know what's going on. Yeah. But you can see how big a deal that was. <laughs> can you imagine if everyone went into Alpha all at once? Uh, it would, it would blow the doors off the people who are using greed and fear and violence and anger and all these things to control us they would have no power whatsoever they would be lost they would be sitting there going i can't control these people they, they feel great there's nothing i can do to harm them they are invulnerable parts of me say that someday that will happen mm. wouldn't that be beautiful uh, i was just thinking here here that's a good thing so Alpha is your buddy, it's your pal, it's the one that will take people into altered states with you. And then they will not be thinking of the things they fear, of greed or confusion. You can talk to them and they'll understand exactly what you're saying. Wow. Pretty cool, huh? So it's, I amazing. Your motive, huh? it's amazing. I, I have to talk in front of the board of commissioners of Cook County where I'm trying to change all the rules 
so that there's no more caged animals and you know so that all those animals can go to the sanctuary and you know i was just thinking how am i going to do this i have three minutes to talk to the president and to all these politicians and you give me the answer i'm going to go out on them <laughs> well go a little bit early and how many are there there's 12 commissioners and oh, the, well okay you can do it though you can do it on zoom you can do it on zoom you can do it on zoom it doesn't matter they won't be disconnected because everything's connected at this level ask larry so all oh. you have to do is go you you'll need to go what i call marine on them do you understand what that means no oh marine like a, a soldier like u.s marines okay. and yeah. uncle sam says take the beach the marines take the beach they don't care if they get killed they don't care if the enemy is dug in they take the damn beach yeah. that's what you do when you go alpha you go big you go no doubt you go i am going to win get everything out of the way all of all of your fears all of your doubts will take you into beta the exact place where you're going to get your ass kicked, if there's any place where you will get your ass kicked, is yeah. in beta. So you want to go, no doubt, they're all going to believe me. Every single one of these people are going to go, that's the greatest idea I ever heard. Yeah. Because you'll be an alpha. The stronger yeah. you go with that intent, the bigger your alpha bubble will be. And the more likely it will be that they'll go into alpha and they'll understand every word you're saying. Uh. Very cool, huh? Oh, I'm amazing. You can do it, Nee. I know you can. You're going to have to practice. When is this event? Uh, it's on Tuesday at 10 a.m. in the morning, so I'm going to start practicing. I was going to write down a short, like a few talking points. And, um, yeah, but I know I can do this. I know I can do this. So that's 11 a.m. my time, right? Yeah, yeah, 11 a.m. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you have my number? No, I don't. Text me when you are about to talk and yeah. I'll go out far. Oh, oh, that would be amazing. That's what you want. They won't even know what hit them if it works. You can do a lone ranger. You remember the lone ranger? Uh, uh, I didn't grow up here, but I think my husband does that. Like, uh, that's one yeah. guy on the horse, right? Well, there's a guy on a horse, and he wears a mask, and he goes in and saves everybody from the evildoers. And he leaves behind a silver bullet to let them know that, yeah, I am the damn Lone Ranger, and I just solved your problems. But he never lets anybody know who he is because he doesn't want credit. Because taking credit would take him into the Yes. And you're my evil <laughs> <laughs> So you go Lone Ranger on it too. You because you you go, well here was that mask. Who was that mask? You don't let them know what's going on. Don't tell them I'm about to take you on to Alpha. So you won't resist me. You know we're, we're, we now have a big coalition with people at Harvard, uh, veterinary schools. There's even people in finance, in crypto finance, who just call us that they want to either donate money or do whatever to to change those rules. And I think I'm 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 going to try to talk to our our team. We're like five women working at it all the time, and just tell them all to go out on them. Just work. Talk out of the love and not hate and not condemn, but talk in a in a space. It's sneaky, but desperate times demand desperate measures. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Bill, I love what you've done. It's okay, well, I gotta get going because I gotta, I gotta have to finish my laundry and all that good stuff. And oh, that will keep you into, into your alpha, into yeah, to your alpha, no ego, like, uh, like Larry. Okay. Here's the deal: you start going backwards, and you start feeling these physical problems again. We'll work on it again. I am almost certain that you're going to be able to win at this game. You understand that it's just a matter of practice. Yeah, and I feel zero pain right now. Isn't that cool? 
It's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, I was so exasperated three hours ago that I took some ibuprofen, which I never do, but usually within two hours, the pain is back. And there's no pain. Yeah. Stupid pain. I'm sick of it. But I'm done with it. I'm done with it. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyway. I'm so grateful. Um, what can I do for you? Nothing. Uh, I want, you know, I wanted to feel fair to you. You spend your time, your energy doing this. Uh, you know, I, I think so much out of this, Verity. Don't even worry about it. You wouldn't believe how much you get out of this. Oh, I know that's what you give. When you give, you get. Oh, but, uh, this is this is amazing, really. I, uh, I'm overwhelmed, and uh, I cannot thank you enough. Okay, well, go get them, girls. <laughs> I will, and I will, I will text you, and I will keep, you know, every time uh, you move forward, I will let you know. I will keep you in the loop with our uh, wildlife activist. Wonderful. Okay, yeah, I'll take you later. Thank you so much. All right, goodbye. We'll see you soon. Larry, thank you so much. It was amazing. He is amazing, isn't he? Wow. Incredible, too. <laughs> it's my superpower. Yeah. Yeah. Paula says that I have superpowers. She calls me the stain master. <laughs> <laughs> but I have other superpowers, so. Okay, <laughs> incredible. Thank you so much, Bill okay. and Larry. And um, Larry, do you still want to work with me? Because I don't feel any pain anymore. Or, or shall we touch base on Wednesday or not? What's your feeling? Yes. Uh, I, is it Wednesday or Thursday? Whenever we're scheduled, I'd like to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, when? We can. Well, I'm so grateful. Have a wonderful evening. I feel amazing. Cool. Thank you. All right. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening. I would like to introduce you to my friend and colleague, Larry Porter. Please visit his website and review the large number of testimonies from those he has helped. On his homepage is a podcast interview we have made entitled Distance Energy Healing. Is it real? Other testimonies and videos also appear there. Having worked directly with Larry, I can attest to his remarkable ability in this field. His fees are small given the results he can produce. His website is ldintuitive.com or you can email him directly at larryporter2000 at gmail.com. As for me, I consult on a very limited basis as I have a busy medical practice. I am also quite busy finishing a book that will likely be titled A Perfect Falcon, Using Subtle Energy and Conscious Energy Medicine to Heal Yourself and Others. I also anticipate completing an online video course entitled Conscious Energy Healing, Using Subtle Energies to Heal Yourself and Others. As I have not yet established a dedicated website for various reasons, you can contact me via email at drbillschroeder1956 at gmail.com. I look forward to hearing from you. If you would like to be notified of this book's publication or the availability of the online video course, you can provide your preferred email. Remember, Alpha All Day keeps the doctor away. Do not abandon the power of Western medical models. You may find integration of energy medicine into your health plan to be a very useful addition. The statements made in this video are not meant to diagnose, treat, or cure any illness and have not been endorsed by the FDA. May the force be with you. My blessings. Please share this YouTube video link with your friends. The quicker we get the word out, the better off we all will be. Go Alpha! Go Marine! Hoorah! Dr. Bill, out.